first of all, can I thank you for all the responses you, you gave to us from our communications consultation we undertook over the summer. In that, you said you'd like to receive more information about the council and why on different interactive channels, such as the website. So this is the first of many videos that we'll be making to keep you up to date with what's happening with the council or business. The purpose of this video is to talk to you about the council budget for 2012-13. We'd like to know what your views are, because they're important to us. The big news, and I'm sure you'll be pleased to hear, is that the Cabinet is not proposing any increase in council tax for the next financial year. We all know you're feeling the pinch and we want to do our part to help you through the, these difficult times. So basically there'll be no increase in them if our plans go ahead on the current level that you are paying to County Chase Council. I'm sure you'll be pleased to hear this. Now I'd like to tell you a little bit more about how we're going to achieve it. The previous budget was set in February 2011 and was based on a two year central government settlement for the period 2011-12 and 2012-13. This budget involved various savings which could be achieved from sharing some of our services with Stafford Borough Council and also the outsourcing of our leisure and cultural services to Wigan Leisure Trust. On the 8th of December, the actual government figure for 2012-13 was confirmed and that's why I'm now in a position to tell you what this means for the Council. The way local authorities are funded in the future is due to change. This is due to various schemes such as business rates and the new homes bonus. But the main elements of this year's budget is that we are not intending to reduce any levels of the council services. I'm sure you'd be pleased to hear that. And when we consulted with you over the summer, you told us about the issues which were most important to you. These included improving our parks and open spaces and the living environment, improving our local economy, and also improving the effectiveness of our communication with residents. That's just the name of a few. With this in mind, I'd like to go through our proposals. You told us you wanted us to facilitate economic growth through job creation. So we've listened, and one way we could do this would be to increase opportunities for investment in new jobs and business growth within our district by working with business-led partnerships with Birmingham, Solihull and Staffordshire. This would cost us about £35,000 a year. You also told us you wanted us to improve our parks, green spaces and living environments. One way we could do this would be to introduce free of charge pest control services in relation to rats, mice, fleas, bedbugs, cockroaches. In addition, we could improve the street signs within the district, which would cost us about £7,000 a year. Another thing he told us is he wants us to improve the effectiveness of our communications. And one of the ways we could do this is to invest in information which enables us to communicate in many different ways and should we get the right messages to the right people at the right time and provide services which meet the needs of the community. And we think this cost us about £5,000 a year. Another thing you told us you wanted us to do was to provide services which meet the needs of the community. And burial capacity is an issue, a very emotive issue in our area. We know it's very important to you. One way we could meet this need would be to increase burial capacity at Stargop Cemetery and Rosary. That would cost us about £45,000. Cemetery and burial fees are very emotive subjects, and in the current times we don't want to add to any further pressures. Therefore, we will not be implementing any of the planned increases in cemetery fees. This means fees will stay at the same level as they were in 2011 12. And we'd like to know what your thoughts are on these options. And we'd still like to know if there are any other options you'd like us to consider. We're here to serve the people of Canada Chase, and we need to know this information to make sure we deliver those things that are of most importance to you. Last night, the Cabinet determined the budget and which we'll be consulting with you. There are lots of ways in which you can get involved. It may be you prefer to complete the online survey, which can be found on the main council website. It may be you prefer face-to-face -face contact with a member of staff. If so, you can do this at our area offices and in the main reception area in Cannock. We'll also be attending a wide range of community events across the district, including Rougie Library on the 22nd of December between 10.30am and 12 noon, the Prince of Wales Theatre in Cannock on the 29th of December, and the full list can be found on the main council website. Consultation will also be undertaken by our social media websites, using our Facebook page, and Chase Life, and by following our Twitter feed. We know you're going to be really busy over the festive period, but we'd like to encourage you to take some time to have your say. You've got until Saturday 21st of January to let us know your views. We'll discuss the responses at our Cabinet meeting on the 2nd of February. We'll then finalise our recommended budget to the Council. Just to remind you, you can attend both the Cabinet meetings and the Council meetings.
So all that's left now is for me to wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year.